All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Roy McQueen from NC Tech Lucian. So, look, in the last couple of videos, we covered jQuery Mobile's form widgets. And now, in this video, I'm going to cover the rest of the widgets that jQuery Mobile have to offer. Okay, so to get right into it, go ahead and create a widget menu page like we've been doing. And <clears throat> now I'm going to show you a pop up widget. The pop up widget uh, can be used for various types of pop ups. Now there's kind of a lot to cover here on pop-ups, so I'll just hit the most important parts. So, all right, to create a basic pop-up, all you got to do is just add the data role equal pop-up attribute to a div with the pop-up contents. Okay, then create a link with the href set to the ID of the pop-up div, and add the attribute data rail equals pop-up. To tell the framework to open the pop-up when the link is tapped. Okay, now let's go ahead and run. Let's go ahead and save this and run it. For our next pop-up, we can easily create a photo light box easily by placing an image in the pop-up and adding a data overlay theme uh, equal to B. Now what this does, this will add a dark backdrop behind the photo. All you do here is just point to the image, set a width and a max height. And also this class attribute is just some settings, some style settings. If you want, you can go ahead and um, Research that on your own time. That should be that could be like some homework or something for you to do to learn about the the styles, the different style settings that you have for jQuery Mobile. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, moving along to the menu. Okay, uh, now this is when. A menu can be created by adding a list view inside of a pop-up. You can also create a nested menu by placing list views into an accordion inside a pop-up. Now this is inside a collapsible div. And I know we didn't cover that. I know you're like, what is an accordion, like a collapsible? We're going to get into that. That's going to get, that's, it's all going to make sense by the end of this uh, series. So um, the collapsible is just a simple widget that allows you to expand or collapse content when it's, when it's tapped. And for our final pop-up to cover is the form pop-up. Uh, all we do here is we place a form inside of a pop-up. Now when it opens, focus will be restricted to the elements inside that pop the pop-up. Okay, like I said, this is not everything about pop-ups, but you know, just uh, this is just enough to get you guys going. And you can always go to the jQuery mobile uh, website to check out if you want more details. All right, next off is the loader widget. So go ahead and create another page and let's get it. A loader widget is a small loading overlay display when jQuery mobile loads in content via Ajax or for use in some custom notifications or something like that. Um, this example right here will use some JavaScript. So, <clears throat> but for the HTML, all we need to do, all we need is some buttons with the class equals to show page loading message. Now that's a styling class. This class is located inside of your, your jQuery mobile CSS file. Then you have the option to show text with the data text visible attribute. And then let's move on to the JavaScript, which uh, handles uh, the rest.
Okay, so right here for the JavaScript. So on the click of one of these buttons inside of our click event, we have a callback function that sets a few variables by using the JQM data method that will return the values that was set by the specified element. Now jQuery Mobile exposes several methods and properties for use in your application. So we grab the values that was set inside of our button and set them to the loading message, which is what we are going to do right here in this next method. Now this allows you to control either to show or hide the page loading message and also pass in some values to be set, which is the variables that we set before calling this method. Then we just handle the on click event for our hide button and simply just hide the page loading message. But wait, wait, you can also use a custom loader image by setting the data HTML element on the button. So let's see what we get when we do this. All right, so it looks like we ran out of time on this video, but uh, we still have a few more widgets to cover. So this is gonna be a second part video. So uh, I'll see you in the next one.